Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to work with the repeater tool in a radial style. All right, first up, I'm going to go to the new composition. I'm going to rename it as star. I'm going to add three seconds. I'm going to go with 1920 by 1920. Click OK. I'm going to go and select the pan tool. Make sure that you're on the stroke. Click on the stroke. Click on the solid color. Click OK and click on the fill click on the non click OK and you can increase the stroke thickness a little and I'm gonna click press and hold shift and create a line and I'm gonna go to the shape click add repeater I'm gonna go to the repeater so we get the copies here I'm gonna type in nine copies and click enter I'm gonna go to the transform we got the position, type in zero. We got the rotate here. We're going to type in 360 slash the number of the copies. So right here, we got nine copies. So I'm going to type in nine copies and it's going to look something like this. All right. So now I'm going to go to the stroke. This is the stroke and we got the stroke thickness, stroke width right here. And I'm going to decrease it some around i don't know two i'm gonna start with two i'm gonna click on the stopwatch i'm gonna go to the middle right here 115 and i'm gonna make it more wide something like this 23 i'm gonna select this diamond press ctrl c i'm gonna go all the way to the end press ctrl v i'm gonna push the diamond a little bit out select all of the diamonds right click Go to keyframe assist, select easy ease. From here, I'm going to collapse this. I'm going to rename it as star. I'm going to create, I'm going to duplicate this, press control D. So now we duplicated the star. I'm going to go back to the stroke, go to content, shape one, stroke one. So this is on two. I'm going to bring this right here to the second keyframe. I'm going to click on this keyframe. And I'm going to type in a hundred like that. So it's going to look something like this. So as you can see, we got the star two. If I uncheck the star two, it's going to make it thin. Good. And now we're going to add here a trim path. So I'm going to go to the trim path and we got the start and the end. We're going to need the start. I'm going to type in 66. It's going to move something like this. I'm going to collapse it, press control D, go to the third star to content shape, go to the trim path. And now I'm going to type in 33. I'm going to see what is going on. Okay. I'm going to collapse the trim path and now I'm going to go to the stroke options. I'm going to go here to the second keyframe. I'm gonna decrease the stroke thickness somewhere around 56 and it's gonna look something like this. You also can make a delay. I'm gonna go to the star two to the thickest one and I'm gonna go to the stroke width and I'm gonna push this somewhere around here. So it's gonna create a delay. I'm going to put this here, maybe. I'm going to go to the third one. Uh, we got the stroke right here. And I'm going to push this. I'm going to push this also a little. So now it looks more organic. It looks more inconsistent. So yeah, so far this was it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.